All right, everyone, thanks again for checking in. Here is the August newsletter. Uh, what I wanna do first is touch on July. July was a great month, able to help between 30 and 40 people either buy or sell real estate. So even with COVID-19 at the forefront, I felt like we battled through it really nicely and helped a lot of you guys sell or buy your properties. Um, let's talk about August. So August has been a similar month that we've seen the last seven months of the year. We've seen the same trend manifest in August that we saw in July, June, and there, there before that. So supply has been all time lows. Currently right now, there's about 1,000 properties on the market that are single family in the state of Rhode Island. Last year this time, we had 6,000. Demand at all time highs. Tons of buyers out there. The ratio between buyers and sellers is, is insurmountable. There's a huge delta between how many people are looking to buy and how many people are looking to sell. Rates are at all time lows. So what does that do? That's bringing people's buying power higher than it was two or three years ago. So rates right now on a 30 year fixed mortgage are under 3%, which is great. Historically, that's the best we've ever seen. I don't think that's gonna change in the near term and I think buyer demand will remain the same as well. So let's talk about the future. Let's talk about 2020. For the rest of this year, I don't see any changes. I think supply remains low, I think demand remains high, and I think buyers continue to be frustrated that they're not able to get the properties that they once were. So a buyer three, four, five years ago in the 250 to 300 range in Rhode Island would have a plethora of properties to choose from. Right now, they're going to properties, they're looking at them, 40, 50 showings, and there's about 20 or 30 offers over asking price. This market is not normal, and it will continue for the rest of the year. 2021 is gonna really manifest itself depending upon the election and also what happens with the second round of COVID-19. If we see favorable results in both of those items, I think you're gonna see the best year in real estate we've ever had. If those items become non-favorable or unfavorable, I think we're in for a world of hurt. I think 2021 will start status quo as we end 2020, but I think it will then result in the fourth quarter in somewhat of an economic recession, which will trickle down to the real estate market. Overall, I'm excited on the market and I'm really pumped. If you're a seller and you have any sort of property, multifamily, single family, anything you've been holding and you're looking to cash out, there's no better time than now. If you're a buyer, you need to remain patient. You need to understand that there's not a lot of inventory and there's gonna be a lot of competition. Try to look for that property that's listed a little bit over your price. It's been on the market three, four, five weeks. Now you have the opportunity to get a seller that's somewhat disgruntled, that wants to sell, that can't wait to get out of the property and may take a lower price. If you're a seller, there's no better time than now or in the late summer. I think the fall will remain favorable. And before you hit the winter where the weather is the one uncertainty, it's a great time to put your property on the market. In conclusion, I recently made the move from Keller Williams to Century 21, and I'm super excited. I'm now the broker owner of my own branch, and I'll have four offices open within the next six months. Cumberland, Pasco, Warwick, and Seekonk. We look to serve southeastern Massachusetts and all of the state of Rhode Island. Guys, hopefully you have a great month and I'll look forward to catching up with you in September.